One is um, if they find that the vent is always clogging. So like the vent on the dryer, or like outside the house or? I think maybe we could we could split this as in um, maybe if it's they're just constantly getting tons of lint in the filter. Although I, I don't know if that's really an issue. Mm. That's just the type of clothes that you're maybe drying. Uh, so lint, lint in the filter. Yeah, I, w I would say if it's a lot, that's probably a good thing just because, you know, you've got good heat and good airflow. Yeah. I yeah. know that if they don't change it every cycle, it will definitely cause issues. Now, as far as a filter, the complaint that I have seen before is that people will dry their clothes and then they go to clean the lint filter out at the end and there's like no lint on the filter and the clothes aren't really dry. And that is an indication that there is a reduction in airflow. If it doesn't seem like there's enough lint on there, then at that point you want to kind of do the troubleshooting steps to, to see where your, your airflow is getting caught up at. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the clothes would be, if that's, sorry, <laughs> that's one of the situations where you'd have warm clothes, but not necessarily dry clothes. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. With the vent thing as well. So some people will notice that, you know, their clothes really, really aren't dry. So they'll pull the, the vent hose off and they'll actually have a puddle of water where the, the, the vent connects to the outlet for the wall, you know? In most of those cases, it's because the there's supposed to be some kind of cover where the vent comes out of the roof. So that cover may be off. And so any type of moisture or rain, it's gonna go straight down into the, into the pipe. And then if there's so much lint and, and obstruction in that vent, you know, all that moisture is going to accumulate, especially if it's humid outside or whatever. And then, yeah, you're just going to have a ton of water where it hooks to the wall. Yeah, it's another one of those ones where the root problem isn't really, you know, where you think it'd be. But, you know, it, it ends up that your clothes aren't drying properly and, and causing all sorts of issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of people that have gone out and bought a brand new washer and dryer set because their clothes weren't drying right just to hook up the new ones and have the same problem oh no <laughs> so, and i always feel so bad for them you know yeah. and it's like oh man <laughs> but you know you learn i guess <laughs>